will celebrate 31 successful six-year awardees for 2021. We are honoured to share the students' achievements and celebrate all students' extraordinary performances. The nominees and results will be out very soon, but first we would like to thank Miss Nidunaku for giving her precious time to organise and count the ballots, John C. O'Shea for his amazing video and sound effects, and finally a special thanks to our favourite principals, Mr. Coffey, Mr. Rudden and Miss Lucy for allowing this ceremony to take place. I will now kick off, like I failed to do this morning in soccer, with our first award, Best at Distracting. Our nominees for this esteemed award are Lawrence O'Donoghue, Harry Buckley and William Shine. The student voters best at distracting is Lawrence O'Donoghue. Um, I'd like to thank everyone, every teacher that I've annoyed, uh, especially um, Jamie McBride. I caused him a lot of problems. Um, but it's just down to my own ability, I would say. Just being a nuisance. And uh, I learned it from the best, Connor Dillon. So, um, yeah. I'd like to thank Connor Dillon as well. So, thanks. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> And now Dara will present the prestigious recognition of the Astro Player of the Year. We've all heard many stories of spectacular performances, and there were countless different names nominated many times in our ballot last week. But three nominees stood out as the most commonly named. The hours follows in no particular order. Tom Doyle, Dara Kelly, and James Kennelly. And our winner for the most noteworthy display of soccer skills during lunchtime is... Dara Kelly. This camera is it. Hi there. I'd like to accept this great honour on behalf of my team. And uh, you know, sure. Look, it's not easy. It's not easy being you know this gifted. But sure. Look, I kind of you know I work away. I do the best. I ruin some careers. But sure. Look, it's the way life goes. I suppose. Well. See that? See that? Sound. <laughs> uh, we now move to our recognition for the most impressive facial hair. This award saw some of our highest vote tallies achieved, with three clear front runners emerging as follows Craig Boyle O'Sullivan, George Griffin, and Rob Nealon. And with a total of 27 votes, our winner is... Thanks. Rob Nealon. Thanks very much. Um, I just want to say thanks to everybody who voted for me. And um, here's the beard in question. A lot of hard work put into this beard. A lot of sacrifices made and I'm thankful they're paying off. Thank you. And on a similar topic, we also have an award for who the voters think... Oh no, sorry, I'm reading out the wrong one. Uh, our best lockdown hair. Without further ado, your nominees for the best haircut, or lack thereof, during COVID-19 lockdown are Tomás Connolly, Cahill Griffin, Sean O'Leary, and Robert Nealon. And upon returning to school, you witnessed these unique hairstyles and voted for Sean O'Leary. Uh, it's, it's 
but I'd like to thank everyone who voted for me. Uh, it's been a long time now, a year and a half without a haircut, and the hair will keep on growing. Yay! <laughs> We'll now move to a highly, we'll now move to a highly anticipated award, our best comedian. The nominees for the Class Clown Award for the class of 2021 are as follows. Lawrence O'Donoghue, Rob Nealon, James Kennelly. And in a landslide vote, the winner is Rob Nealon. Keep them coming lads, I want a clean sweep. <laughs> And on a similar topic, we also have an award for who the voters think will become future celebrities. So our nominees for the members of our six years who have been deemed to become most likely to be famous are Caleb Russell, Jack McCarthy and William Shine. In a very close three-way race, the recipient of the most votes is Jack McCarthy. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to thank uh, everyone who voted for me. You know, I'll rep this town when I make it, yeah. And uh, I'll make sure I don't know a lot to the school, yeah, you hear me? Thank you very much. More close to home, Finn will now announce the results of our Should Return as a Teacher Award. As we move to finalise our CAO, the six-year students have voted that the following people should return as a teacher at some stage down the road. Killian Hickey, Killian O'Brien, and a man who already has close ties to the staff here, Joe Rudden. Mr. Coffey might be reluctant to take on the following winner. Killian Hickey. You'll have to change the CAO. I, know. I suppose after this award now I'll have to change the number one choice on the CAO from primary to secondary. But I couldn't be bothered dealing with Elot. Cheers for the votes. <laughs> now for another controversial three-way race, we will move on to our nominees for the best impressionist. We all like to think that we're good at doing our own impressions, but three clear favourites have emerged from your votes. They are Lawrence O'Donoghue, Rob Nealon and William Shine. Our winner, who won't come as much of a surprise to many, is... Rob Nealon. And William has agreed to do some impressions for us. If Will! Or not, maybe. No, I think he's chosen not to. <laughs> so. Oh. oh, yeah, he's doing it. Impressions. What's he got? No, it's just impressions. Yeah. What's he doing? Not teacher, just a country. Huh? Do a country. What's the plan, sir? Would you tell us? Do you want to do an impression? I'm live, eh? What do you want to do? Um, I'm at my live, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not an ordinary impression. I'll do a quick thank you to Paul Barden. Um, 
Not really sure what to say. Uh, I'm in past Irish anyway, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much. Um, now Finn will move on to one of our more wholesome categories. We all know those two friends who just can't be separated. There are many examples of this across our year, but most popular nominees are Boris Yusek and Michal O'Mara, Harry Buckley and O'Sheen Walsh, Jamie O'Sullivan and Tiernan Rorty. In this car category, we have two pairs of winners who are O'Sheen and Harry. And Boris and Michal. I'm sure I can think of plenty of good nominees for this one, but the highest number of votes received are Jack McCarthy, William Shine, and Owen O'Connell. And our winner that will be coming to our TV screens very soon is... Jack McCarthy. <laughs> I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who voted me, you know, and I know I'm a beautiful specimen, you know, just built differently, like, so I'll make sure I'll remember all of you in the future, yeah, I'll try my best, yeah. Thank you very much. And if they don't make it on Love Island, maybe they will on TikTok, which brings us to our next award. We've had a few students strike a big on TikTok, not least the following four. Cahal Griffin, William Shine, Killian Hickey, and Jack McCarthy. We will now give you a taste of a few of them. subject of technology, oh no sorry, and your voted winner for the best TikToker of the 
class of 2021, William Shine. Uh, it's a disgrace that Jack Mack didn't win this award. Thank you very much. You're, you're served. Now, on the subject of technology, Daryl will now introduce the nominees for our own internet expert. We have two main nominees in this category who have clearly distinguished themselves as capable of dealing with technology in the SEM and who are as follows. Matthew Pop and Lucas O'Sullivan. And the winner for the internet expert award is Lucas O'Sullivan. Congrats, Lucas. <laughs> Arguably the most prestigious award on offer. Will, Finn will now announce our nominees for the most dependable sixth year. There's always the guy who waits for you to tie your lace. And this year, some of the people are Killian Hickey, Nisha Daly, Dara Doolan. And one student who distinguished himself as our most dependable is Nisha Daly. No speech. No speech. <laughs> and the opposite to this award is next up our nominees for Always Late. These are the students who always walk in mid class and you know who you are. But these four have been voted as the worst culprits Adam Cronin, David Asiba, Dean Bradley Cronin, and Jack McLean. And our winner, or loser, depending on what way you look at it, is. David Osiba. <laughs> Fashionably late. Yeah. Sorry, late, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to our next award, which is our most likely to be a millionaire. It's no secret that Bitcoin is on the rise, which will deliver which will deliver many young millionaires, some of which will undoubtedly include, but are not limited to, Jack Lenehan, Matthew Pop, Craig Boyle O'Sullivan. And our winner for most likely to be a millionaire is Matthew Pop. <laughs> Congrats, mate. Like so. All day, baby! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Daryl will now move on to our next award, the Award of Leadership Among Sixth Years. Down throughout our years in the school, we've had many great leaders among us. And you could have put down any combination of the names for this award, but the highest voted nominees are as follows. Killian Hickey, Matt McAuliffe, and Tiernan Rorty. And our winner for the best leader of the class of 2021 is Matt McAuliffe. Appreciate it. Thanks, lads. Now, by now I'm sure you're sick of listening to us, but you've heard plenty more from our next category of nominees. The most talkative people in our year. These people are the kind who haven't stopped talking since they came in the door. Your nominees for most talkative are Rob Nealon, Mark Shahan, 
and Rob O'Shea. And the class chatterbox for 2021 is Rob O'Shea. <laughs> yeah, you have to say something. <laughs> our next round of nominees are considered the romantics of our year. First to get married. Our nominees for the most likely to get married first are Keen O'Sullivan, Craig Boyle O'Sullivan, and Matt McAuliffe. And the lucky man who'd better invite us all to his wedding is Craig Boyle O'Sullivan. Uh, I better get on to Fort Noil, I suppose. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you can all come, I suppose. Some boys. The man of the house needs to know how to cook, which brings us to a award for most likely to appear on MasterChef. Our nominees for the most skilled in the kitchen are as follows Harry Buckley, Matthew Pop, and Connor Henderson. And our winner, and maybe he'll prove it to us later by tossing a salad or two at the barbecue, is. Connor Henderson. Uh, I'd like to shout out to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> And our next round of nominees to be named by Finn are the most likely to break a world record. There might be a few familiar names in the Guinness World Book so far, but the following nominees have been voted most likely to appear there at some stage. David Foley, Matthew Pop, and Jamie O'Sullivan. And the winner of the most likely to break a world record is David Foley. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 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 The nominees for our next award, the biggest hype man, are famous for leading the atmosphere at various events in the school. We might not be able to do the introduction to this award justice by hyping it up, but we have a few ideas as to who might be able to. The nominees are David Randalls, Lawrence O'Donoghue, and Rob Nealon. And, and our winner for the biggest hype man of the class of 2021 is Lawrence O'Donoghue. I'd like to take this moment to apologise to absolutely nobody. The Double Champ does what the fuck he wants. And at the opposite end to our to our hype men are the nominees for the worst for falling asleep in class. We, have, we all have that class that doesn't work for us, and these guys have more than a few. The following nominees are infamous for making a bed out of their desk in class. They are Dean Bradley Cronin, Owen O'Connell, Jason Amini, and Kyle O'Connor Coffey. If someone could wake him up and let him know that he won, the winner is Owen O'Connell.
morning, all. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to thank uh, the traffic that was passing by my house every night to keep me up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Falling asleep is not an option for our next category, which is the award for best driver. I can't imagine that we have the next Lewis Hamilton among our six years, but the next three nominees have been voted as the most talented behind the wheel. Cahill Griffin, David Randalls and Mark Shahan. He might not be appearing at a Formula One race anytime soon, but the winner for our best driver is Mark Shahan. Thanks for the votes and uh, vroom vroom. <laughs> <laughs> Finn will now move to our second last award, the opposite end of this category, which is our worst parker award. It's quite easy to see the disturbing sights out the back of the school, but the three worst parkers named by our voters are Cahill Griffin, Dara Brosnan, and again, Mark Shahan. And our winner for the most horrific parker seen the last 12 months on the school grounds is Cahill Griffin. Uh, I'd just like to thank uh, my car for getting me to and from school and sure I don't crash that often so not too bad. <laughs> now on to the final award. If they haven't already come up with an excuse to get out of this class, Dara will call out the nominees for the worst excuse maker. Just before we announce our nominees, we will read out some of the most common or unique excuses mentioned by our sixth years in our poll last week. Given the year that was in it, we had plenty of mentions of my mic wasn't working and bad Wi-Fi. But we also heard of some slightly more unique ones. Among these were the dog ate the laptop, I had to staple my pants, I had to take the staples out of my pants, God told me to, and I lost my cat. We've all made quite a number of excuses to get out of one missed bit of homework or another, but our final set of nominees have clearly become well known for it. They are as follows. Alif Lachman, Emmanuel Ajibare, and Jack Linehan. And our winner, as voted by the class of 2021, for the worst excuse maker is... Jack Linehan. <laughs> Sorry, the mic's broken. Look. <laughs> and Mr. Barden. Uh, I'm just looking for William Shine here, lads. Uh, William, I know where you live, and I, I will find you. Finn, can you hold that? Okay, lads. Uh, there's just a few extra, a few extra awards that haven't been given out yet. So I've had the pleasure of uh, of announcing the winners. I've got three to read out here. The first one is um, most likely to win a Nobel Prize, and our nominees um, are Mr. Dara Doolan, Owen O'Connell, and Finn Linehan. So our first, our winner of this particular one is Dara Doolan. Well done, Dara. Dara. Thank you very much. Sorry, I can't, <laughs> we can't even shake hands anymore. Uh, I'll go to the second one. Uh, second, this is for the most likely to get 625 points in his leaving cert. Uh, nominees, lads, for the highest of the high grades. Uh, and again, 
no pressure on this one. The nominees, Finn Lenehan, Dara Doolan, Mark Shehan, and Nisha Daly. And the winner, as nominated by his peers, Finn Lenehan. And the last uh, award of this particular part of your day, lads. Again, 10 years ago, we had Mary McAleese in the school. And this award goes to the student who is most likely to be a future president. Uh, it doesn't say president of what, <laughs> but a president of some description. And the nominees are Dara Doolan, Owen O'Connell, and Killian Hickey. And our winner is Dara Doolin. Well done, Dara. Thank you very much. Uh, you. Just to finish off, William, I hope you're running. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, just before we go to the next phase, I just want to thank Dara and Finn and Missy Donacou uh, for this. I think it's become part of the new, the new normal of St. Brendan's. It'll be here for a long time yet. You can always say you were the first class to come up with it. Um, the next phase is where we get to, uh, to give you your pack and uh, there's various bits and pieces in it, uh, one including the tie. Um, it's been a long tradition of it being handed out in the chapel, so we're inviting you to come in your class groups, not the rooms you're in at the present moment, but let's say group six, the class group six one, class group six two. That way we have them, we have them organised in that order. So, in if you give me a minute to get ahead of you, um, we two minutes actually, um, we will take class six one in the chapel, and then Michelle Cooper Galvin, I believe, is in the front lawn somewhere. And if you want to take friendship photographs, we do that. And remember, we have a one, and Mr. Rudden is also doing that. Uh, we have a 145 kickoff with the photo montage. Okay, thank you all very much. Just a thanks again to everyone who voted in our awards, and especially to Miss Nidonicu for all the time and effort she put in helping us organise it. Con That's.